today guys we're going to test out our Peltier thermoelectric generator chip that we 3D printed from Protopasta's copper filled and iron filled PLAs. First of all let's go ahead and hold the chip up to the camera so you can see what I've done with it. You'll notice there's a very rusty look to our iron side that is actually iron oxide. I've soaked both sides of this chip in a very high salt content solution to generate an oxide on both sides of these chips. So we've got cupric oxide on this side and we've got iron oxide on this side. Now these are just individual parts that are printed. Let me go ahead and open that up. You can see the iron oxide in there, the cupric oxide. They are not going to generate a bunch of individual junctions or Peltier junctions so that we don't see a really high voltage. This is actually just one iron piece touching one copper piece. So we're going to get the output of one Peltier junction of iron and copper. So we're going to press those back together. You go ahead and rub them back and forth a little bit so they get a good connection between them. And we're going to squeeze that to make sure they have a good junction. All right, to do our test here, let's see if I can not put a shadow down on the voltmeter. We're going to grab one lead from our voltmeter. We're going to try to make a good connection here on our copper side. Let's go ahead and flip that over. We're now going to try to find a spot where I can get a good connection here on our iron side. Let's see what we can do. Oh, look at that. We just had 100 millivolts of output. So there you go. There is the output from our Peltier thermoelectric generator chip. Actually, pretty good output. 100 millivolts. Seems to be pretty constant. Now, the hotter and colder I can get these two sides, the higher the output's going to be, obviously. 